Are you ready to hear me expose myself? Hey guys, my name is Miranda and welcome to my universe. Today, we are going to be doing the Unpopular Opinions book tag because I wanted to do this book tag for so, so long and I just never got the guts to do it. So I am ready this morning. I got up and I thought to myself, you know what? I am ready to walk into this battlefield. I am set and I'm prepared. Let's go. So yeah, that's what we're doing. The first question is a popular book or series that you don't like. And I'm gonna go for book. I'm going to go with We Were Liars by E. Lockhart for this one. This is a very, very hyped book on booktube and just in the YA community in general, a lot of people want to read this book or they have read it and really, really loved it. And I just don't like this book. I think it was really, really vague for me. And I know that that was purposeful and that you're not really meant to know a lot of the plot because that's part of the mystery and part of the thrills. I didn't really see how necessary it was to keep some of the information away from the reader. And the twist, <laughs> the twist. I just didn't enjoy this book so much. Um, yeah. <laughs> Question number two. This is for Miranda. Question number two, <laughs> there we go. A popular book or book series that everybody seems to hate but you love. And this one, oh man. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you already know this one. Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. I get it. I get how underdeveloped the characters in this series are. I get how upsetting the plot is. I understand that the love triangle is one of the most frustrating things to ever exist in literature, but you know what? I love it. I absolutely enjoyed reading Twilight. I think it's just a fun series to read when you're not taking everything too seriously. So yes, um, yeah, I love Twilight. The third question is a love triangle where the main character ended up with the person you did not want them to be with. First of all, Twilight. Second of all, Heroes of Olympus. Third of all, Mortal Instruments. That that's an that's an interesting one. Fourth of all, freaking Hunger Games. Hunger Games! And I'm just gonna stop there before I get too uh, wild up about this, okay? Let's move on. Question number four is a popular book genre that you hardly reach for, and I'm gonna go with young adult contemporary because I very, very rarely read contemporary. Question number five. I think this is the most brutal question. It's a popular or beloved character that you don't like. Magnus Bane? <laughs> Magnus Bane. I have to say, I like Magnus more than I dislike Magnus. It's like a 60 versus 40%. I do enjoy him in certain scenes. Like sometimes I think he's awesome. He has such a great sense of humor. He just kind of enters a room and he throws glitter around and goes, hey peasants, I'm here. And honestly, I love that about Magnus. Like he's really, he's a really cool character. It's just sometimes, he bugs me. He's in the same room as Alec and I think to myself, wow, I want to hear the lovely words coming out of Alec's mouth, but I can't because Magnus keeps talking. <laughs> and it's not that I don't like Magnus, it's just that I don't exactly love Magnus. You know what I'm saying? Phew, I'm glad that question's over. All right, question number six. A popular author that you can't seem to get into. I'm gonna say Stephen King. I just feel like people hype him up so, so much that I was expecting so much out of him. But then when I read Pet Cemetery, I was so let down and that just made me so, so sad and upset. But I am gonna give him a second chance. I want to read The Shining. I actually own The Shining. So I'm thinking of reading that this year sometime. As of now, I don't really think I enjoy Stephen King's writing style as much as I thought I would. Question number seven is a popular book trope that you're tired of seeing. Basically what a trope is, is a theme or an idea that is present in a lot of books. Like some examples of a trope would be a love triangle. The lost princess, that's definitely a trope. A corrupt leader, different things like that. I have one that I absolutely despise with my entire being and that is the bad boy trope.
Where are my good boys? That's just what I'm asking. Why do authors think that bad boys always get the girl? It makes me so upset because I see all of these good, solid boys that have a great foundation. They are so faithful and loyal and I see them get their hearts broken because the girl doesn't like them, but instead she likes the guy that is super possessive of her or she likes the guy that is always controlling or she likes the guy that is incredibly, incredibly unhealthy for her. And I just don't like it at all. There is no part of the bad boy trope that I like. I want all of the bad boys to just fall in a hole and die because I'm tired of seeing them. I'm actually going to say something about myself that will probably explain a lot to you guys. I absolutely adore best friend relationships. So I love it when two best friends who have been friends since childhood, like they end up growing up and they fall in love and they get married. Like that, I love that. That is my stuff. That is what I dig. I dig that. But a lot of authors don't do that. Best friend always gets wrapped up in this love triangle and they end up getting the short end of the stick because they weren't bad. So it just upsets me because I love the best friends and I always want the main character to end up with their best friend and that never happens ever. Well, actually just kidding. That does happen in some series and I absolutely adore those series, but most series that doesn't happen. So yeah, the, uh, bad boy tropes. Don't like them. Question number eight is a popular series that you have no interest in reading. I'm gonna go with Shatter Me for this one because I have absolutely zero interest in reading the series. Nothing against the series. I just don't think it's very interesting to me. And the last question, question number nine is which movie do you think was better than the book? And automatically, I think of Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. Don't get me wrong, this book is actually really, really incredible. I just think that the movie did a better job with this story because it is a more action-filled plotline. So actually seeing it and seeing the world on a big screen, I feel like you just get so much more immersed in it. And this book was really good, but I really, really enjoyed the movie. Alrighty guys, that was it with the Unpopular Opinions book tag. Um, I hope we're still friends. I definitely hope we're still friends. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you all. Please be safe, make good choices, and I will definitely see you next time. Woo!